Thursday of week two. Um, I've already had my breakfast. I got up extra early this morning because I'm traveling uh, for business to LA. Um, I've done my cardio as well. And yesterday had all the food prepared and packed ready. So what I'm gonna do is throw these containers. I have rice, I have fish, and I have chicken. So I'm gonna throw these big containers in the cool bag at the bottom. And I've got some individual meals that'll last for today as well. So we can throw them down the side. Now if it's, um, if I'm going to a hotel that hasn't got a fridge or I'm gonna be away for a especially long time, like a week, I'll freeze a lot of meals and I'll actually put them in um, plastic bags because it saves space as well. So um, I'm only going away for three days. So I just need this amount of meals will be fine for me. And I don't need to freeze anything because there's a fridge waiting for me at the hotel when I get there. So I have my egg white and oatmeal pancakes here. This will be a squeeze, but we'll make it happen. always easier as well if you get a cool bag that's got wheels on it just like your luggage it's so much easier when you're at the airport and when you're traveling you know to the taxi to the hotel etc so I'd recommend that and there you go hey presto we're ready to go and uh, head to the airport so we've got our meals packed for three days might have to get more while we're down there. That's okay, that's, that's not a problem. But at least you don't have an excuse for missing a meal. So it doesn't matter how many meetings you may have or what your work schedule is, you've actually got to control that around your meals if you want the successful results. Have you got, have you got cash? Yeah. So today we're doing the carbs and abs in uh, Venice, California. So um, today is supposed to be back and biceps, but I've changed it to calves and abs. The reason being is that I'm feeling a little bit lethargic, a little bit weaker than normal, and back and biceps together is a real uh, large body group and it requires a lot of energy. So at times like this, you don't feel like you're gonna have the strength needed to really punish those muscle groups. Go for smaller but muscle groups. Stay strong and, uh, and that's it. The documentary crew can't come along to my trip in LA, so for this week's workouts I'll be showing you what to do from the bodybuilding.com exercise database. For our first exercise today we'll be doing standing calf raises for 4 sets of around 12 repetitions. Since this is the first exercise for our calves, make sure that you do a, you know, one or two light warm-up sets just to start with and get the blood flowing. You should start with your heels relaxed and below the plane of the stand, then raise your heels upward as high as possible while flexing your calves and repeat this movement until you reach failure at around 12 repetitions. Our second calf exercise is what's called a donkey calf raise and we'll be doing four sets of around 18 to 20 repetitions. This is an unconventional lift but it's very useful when traveling or working out in a gym that doesn't have any type of calf machine. To perform this exercise you'll need a training partner. Begin by bending at the hips and holding onto a bench in front of you. Raise your heels by extending your ankles as high as you can while flexing your calves. we're going to be doing hanging leg raises for three sets of 20 reps hang from a pull-up bar with a grip that's around shoulder width apart raise your legs until they form a 90 degree angle with your torso and bend your knees as you do so it's important that you maintain a rigid position and you don't swing back and forth when you're doing this So we're in LA now on a business trip. Uh, we've been to the gym 
just done cardio and uh, had a show. I'm about to eat my last meal. So this hotel room has no kitchen whatsoever. It's got a bar fridge, which doesn't have much room at all. It wouldn't fit all my uh, food in there. So we asked for another fridge. The way we got that was by saying that I'm a diabetic and there's certain foods that I have to eat and those foods have to be kept cool. So it worked and we got this extra fridge here. Um, what I do have as well is my supplements. So instead of bringing a load of bottles, I take my supplements in here. In a, it's like a fishing tackle box. Just for convenience, it's easier. And in here, I'll probably all fall out now. I've got my pancakes, so the breakfast, you know, the oats and egg whites uh, pancakes. I've got some for tomorrow and the following day, following morning, and got a big tub of rice in there. Let's see if we can pull this back in. There you go. Another thing I haven't mentioned is that we went out and got some scissors as well, so it helps, you know, I, I can cut up the chicken breast easy with that. And uh, I've got my post-workout shake ready there for tomorrow. And if you come over here to the makeshift bathroom or kitchen, I guess, um, this is where the other fridge is. So we've emptied all the alcohol and the sodas and stuff out of this fridge. And... We've got the other two big t tubs here, one being the fish and the other one being the chicken breasts. We close this. <clears throat> so I've got a couple of spare tubs here as well so I can make my food pre-prepared. I've got my oatmeal here, which will go with my protein powder so I can use that as a meal replacement as well if needed. And in this shaker bottle, I have my Vitago. So, um, I can put that mixed with my isolate for my post-workout shakes. And another thing that is really handy when you're out and about is a weighing scale. So I weigh every single one of my meals, and that's no exception when I'm on uh, the road as well, traveling. And uh, I think that's about it. So the, basically, you just need to be prepared. doesn't matter where you go. What you've got planned, like tomorrow I've got a day's worth of meetings up at the Weeder offices with Flex and Muscle and Fitness. I'm going to be taking all my meals with me regardless if those guys go out and eat or not. I've got to stick to my regime and control my environment. And with all the food and the supplements and uh, you know the Tupperware and whatever packed, there's no reason why I can't. So that is it. Find out why long walks on the beach can be more than just a setting for romance.